Shocking. XRP true price just revealed. XRP to $90,000. A new survey conducted by CoinShares, a digital asset investment company, has identified three crypto assets that attract capital from investment fund managers from Ethereum ETH. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. In the latest CoinShares survey conducted in May 2022, a digital asset investment company reports that XRP, Cardano, ADA, and the native token Polkadot, Diori, are attracting more investor dollars as allocations for Ethereum are moving in the opposite direction. While Bitcoin positions have changed little, investors are increasingly adding to altcoins. The survey highlights the increased allocations for Polkadot, Cardano, and XRP at the expense of Ethereum. According to a bi-monthly CoinShares survey, just over 20% of investors have invested in Ethereum, compared to about 25% registered during the previous March survey. In the case of XRP, the number of investors allocating funds to it has grown to about 6% from about 4% recorded in the March survey. The percentage of investors investing in Cardano has more than doubled from about 5% to about 12%. In the case of Polkadot, the percentage of investors investing their money in it has grown from about 9% to about 13%. The May CoinShares survey also states that in the Solana SOL, smart contract blockchain, the percentage of investors investing in it has decreased from 4% to 1%. According to the survey, reasons for investing in crypto assets include diversification and speculation. We have seen a significant increase in the number of investors adding positions for speculative reasons, from 20% to 27%. Diversification remains a key reason for investing in digital assets, although it has declined, probably due to the increased correlation of Bitcoin with technology stocks and skepticism about its true merits of diversification. In May 2022, CoinShares was conducted among investors managing assets worth about $200 billion. The XRP community was given the opportunity to listen to the materials of the upcoming court session scheduled to discuss all outstanding issues related to the issue of attorney-client privilege in relation to William Hinman's documents. Judge Sarah Netburn ordered that the Ripple community and interested members of the public could listen to the upcoming meeting between the blockchain company and the Securities and Exchange Commission regarding Hinman's documents. XRP owners can listen to the court proceedings by calling two phone numbers provided by the court for these purposes and they will be asked to provide the access code contained in the order. The meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, June 7, 2022 at 1500 hours ECF No. 493. Members of the public can listen to the materials, the excerpt from the order says. According to the court's ruling, XRP holders residing in the United States can call 877-226-8215, and people who want to listen to conference materials outside the United States can do so by calling 409-207-6982. After the call is completed, the caller will be asked to enter the access code 4713826 hashtag, and he will be automatically connected to the trial. Hashtag Zer Community Hashtag Seca Versus Hashtag Ripple Hashtag XRP Breaking Information has been published about a call to a conference scheduled for Tuesday, June 7, 2022, at 1500 hours to discuss internal documents related to Hinman's speech on June 14, 2018. This is below. Although members of the public are allowed to call and listen to the progress of the conference between Ripple and the SEC, Judge Netburn banned the recording and distribution of conference materials on any video or audio sharing platform, including YouTube, Twitch, etc. Unauthorized recording and retransmission of the conference, for example, YouTube, Twitch, audio streams only, etc., is strictly prohibited. Any unauthorized recording will be investigated and any person caught in such behavior may be subject to criminal punishment. As reported yesterday, after repeated arguments over the SEC's recent assertion that William Hinman's document is protected by attorney-client privilege, the court has scheduled a hearing between the parties to discuss all issues related to the documents. However, in accordance with the new security measures related to the coronavirus, COVID-19, the court will limit the number of people present at the upcoming meeting. Meanwhile, the Hinman 2018 document was an integral part of the ongoing trial. 
Although Ripple is convinced that the document containing 68 draft emails will help make the decision that XRP is not a security, the SEC was determined to keep the documents away from Ripple. Twice, the SEC was ordered to hand over the documents to Ripple, but the agency refused to heed these calls, citing new reasons why it could not hand over Hinman's documents. The SEC's latest excuse for trying to protect the document is that Hinman discussed it with some lawyers at the agency before drafting the speech, which made it protected by attorney-client privilege. Ripple investors hope that all outstanding issues related to the document will be addressed at the upcoming conference. The disclosure of documents related to the speech of ex-SEC Director Heinem has become a key issue in the case. Justice of the Peace Sarah Netburn called on both sides to discuss the Commission's new statement about the speech. The Securities and Exchange Commission is doing its best to hide emails to Hinman's infamous Ethereum speech. In its latest attempt to conceal the documents, the Commission stated that the internal documents fall under attorney-client privilege. The agency claims that at that time the director received legal advice from lawyers and another employee was under his command. Parts of the emails and drafts gave him directions for the speech. Attorney James Phelan, who was overseeing the case, said that on June 7, 2022, a conference will be held to discuss SEC statements that attorney-client privilege applies to the documents of Hinman's 2018 speech. On Twitter, Phelan wrote, Time, the conference is scheduled for Tuesday, June 7, 2022, at 3 p. M. To discuss the SEC's updated attorney-client confidentiality statement regarding internal documents related to Hinman's speech on June 14, 2018. According to Judge Sarah Netburn's letter, SEC and Ripple lab lawyers must attend in person. Since Judge Netburn has previously ruled twice in favor of Ripple Lab, any decision in favor of Ripple Lab is likely to lead to new SEC petitions to challenge the court's decision. In addition, the SEC filed an objection to the petition of the Ripple defendants. The defendants challenged the Commission's response to Ripple's fourth set of acceptance requests. The petition mentioned that the Commission had fairly and substantially responded to inquiries on the issue where it was required. The notice adds that the SEC either accepts or rejects any request after conducting a reasonable investigation. It mentions other cases where the SEC's response fell under Federal Civil Procedure Rule 36. It refused to respond to 16 appeals filed by the defendants in court on September 21, 2021. The petition was filed to obtain some confidential information about transactions with digital assets held by SEC employees. Taking into account Rule 36 A. 6, the Commission requests the court to reject the defendant's motion. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 12944360065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4. 8% in the last 24 hours. Now it is time to reveal who is the lucky winner of our giveaway. We randomly selected one fan who fulfilled all the conditions. And the winner is Tom Moore. Congratulations Tom Moore. So XRP Army let's all congratulate Tom Moore in the comment section below and tomorrow we will relaunch our weekly giveaway free 500 XRP. Now let's get back to the video. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.